Boom, boom, this is Kendra. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Bleach Immortal Soul up today. So we got a few things to go over, so let's go ahead and pop up. So we've got the battle event up today. So this is the standard uh, battle arena fun. This is just your standard. Do it 10 times a day. Get the coins, the gold tokens, which you can then use in the shop. Uh, and remember, this is just participate. You don't have to win. So even if you lose all 10 tries, uh, you still get the total uh tokens so just participate uh got some pretty uh, good stuff up so it looks like we've got uh fin doors in here uh halibel these are of course ssrs got tozen and we have got uh uh Kukaku. so uh everything else is standard now remember we had the new character uh honey goat so this is uh her shards if you came up a little bit short uh it, well, actually, yeah, you know, there, there wasn't a soul box, it was a new character. So, this is actually just going to be a way to get some of the shards uh, for her. This is actually the whole weapon. So, you get the whole weapon. So, if you didn't get it in the last part of the event, then you can go ahead and get it here. So, uh, but it's 400. So, the max that you're going to get this thing, uh, the shop is open for nine days, uh, but it's actually seven days. Uh, the most you can get just by playing it. Uh, free to play is uh, 20 a day so 140 is about what you're going to get uh, I already did my 20 today but I purchased one shard because I needed that uh, for something we're going to do here in the video next uh, and these are the actual uh, uh, tombs and uh, emblems same standard stuff there's really nothing new uh, Omni shards of course uh, SSR weapon pack uh, and of course these uh, uh, the war soul there if you want to get that and some of the actual orbs if you want to uh, reforge your war souls so that's standard fair standard event is the same so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of things all right so uh, as I, I was telling you I was working on uh, wanting to get uh, Danga Ichigo up uh, I now do have enough to actually do that uh, it takes 140 shards I have even if you want to take a look here I have 100 important shorts i've also got azing which we're going to talk about here a little bit shortly um i know i should have had him a long time ago but i'll explain uh, i just had some really bad luck getting him inside of the guild so let's go ahead and take a look at uh bringing up dan guy ichigo first this is going to be an important one i've been saving up my uh, all my gold because i knew i was going to be bringing him up to five star here and i was going to want to bring his skill up because that's a damage uh increase if you look at his fifth skill it's a damage increase. This is going to increase his damage rate, so that's going to bring him up. Uh, so let's go ahead and promote him up. So we want to do shard exchange. Okay, and we want to do the max. We'll exchange that. Uh, and now we can promote him up. So now he is at Danga Ichigo. Is now at 5 star. And that means we got the skills. So let's upgrade this. I should have more than enough to do it. There we go. So now uh, I've got the damage increase up, so that's going to increase his uh, damage rate immensely. It's also nice to get the six star just for damage reduction. Uh, it helps with survivability. So that's going to be taken up. So now let's talk about uh, uh, the next thing we're going to do here, and that is combine Ichigo. Now, as you know, in the actual squad, uh, if you do the squad boss, um, You got the the squad rewards here uh, the problem that I've been having I uh, already did mine for today uh, this is what I got so uh, if you get right here you get like right here for instance you get this uh, it's an Asian shard chest uh, but for some reason I very seldom hardly ever would get an Asian shard it seems like Toshin and Jin was all I was getting I was starting to call it the non Asian shard chest <laughs> um, so uh, I really much had to mostly rely on getting full marks uh, to do that, which means I had to focus away from my emblems, which I, I like to gather a lot of emblems, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, but I do finally have um, eyes, and so we're going to go ahead and combine him. Should have had him a long time ago. Uh, so there we got uh, your eyes. He's an attacker. Uh, so he's he's got a pretty good set. Let's go ahead and take a look at him here down at the bottom. 
right here he is so uh we got him automatically at four stars which means he's almost immediately usable uh, he is a tiger um, and as you can see i got several bonds that i can activate with him of course i can bring some of those up to gold or up to or purple so let's see what we got here in terms of his talent so his talent unlocks at three stars so battle arena and Kipachi Contest, attack, death, and HP of all characters increased by 8.8. .8. So that's a really good setup. I can do his enhancements, but let's talk about his skills. Uh, so, deals damage to a single enemy. So he's a, he's a single target to Grishol's 15% of the target's damage rate. Uh, also around 30% chance to disorient. And we've got deals damage to a single enemy. So again, Nuker. Attack of 20 deals bleed, so you got to bleed after okay, and the bleed increases and the traitor is center. Defense of all enemies decreases once enemy dies, the damage rate. When attacked, the attacker has a chance to disorient. Disorient. Uh, now, this cannot take action and attack a random character after a normal attack phase ends. Now, if, you, if you've if you seen uh, in the character town event going up against Aizen, you'll notice that occasionally you'll, you, your people will attack your own people. Uh, this is that actual uh, ability, traitor is center. So that's where it comes from. So he's got a pretty, he's a really good character, really good skill set. You'll see him in a lot of them. Uh, he's first gen Eisen though. This is uh, the base Eisen. Uh, they've got, you know, they got the butterfly versions and the, the versions as the Hogoku was starting to take over. Uh, but to, he is a prominent character and I do got him up to four stars. So I'll probably uh, do a little bit of work on him, but uh, we'll have to see. I, like I say, my focus is still going to be on it's still going to be on Ichigo, uh, anniversary version Ichigo. I just do that to activate his uh, War Soul. So we'll have to see. So he's an Azure Dragon. So, um, you know, there's really no place into the actual team any for the first gen characters. Still working on this one right here. This is he's my current uh, work in here. So let's see if this is, Eisen's going to affect anything. I don't think he's going to affect any of my actual bonds. Yep. So we got the the bond for. Base Ichigo. So that helps out immensely. That's a 20% attack increase. I'll take that. So that's his all of his bonds. So he's complete now in terms of uh, all of his bonds, which is good. So anything in terms of the red will actually help. So that's the only, uh, I think there's a, probably a few others that might have a bond with Aizen up in here. I'll have to go through and look, yeah, Nemesis. Of course, him and um, Shinji didn't get along, of course. Okay. So as you can see, there's a lot. So this is going to give me some you know, basic increases in some of that. So I'll bring him up a little bit just to, just to increase those bonds. Uh, and then we got concentrated. So I got six... So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'll go through the rest of those at time and take a look at those. Uh, but, yeah, so so I finally got him. <laughs> I've been wanting to get him for a long time. But, like I say, my luck was just horrible uh, on those shards. So, uh, I, as of about, I'd say probably about, I don't know, probably about a month ago, I started focusing on just going ahead and trying to get maximum shards to guarantee that I would get a shard of him. Uh, I cut down on the amount of, uh, you know, tokens I was already, but hey, that's the only way I could feel, you know, uh, even remotely like it was able to something that I could actually get, so I actually got him. So, um, I finally did manage to clear him out, and that closes up my bonds, so I'm pretty much done with the bonds uh, on all of my main characters. I think I've got a full set uh, on all of my bonds now. So... 
Yeah. Damn guy. Why did you go? That's cool. Like that, yeah. So that's the main team. I still haven't got Kimpachi's uh, item yet, but uh, uh, he's not in the main team anymore. Uh, I have uh, the main team is these top three right here. Back line, I have Tizenketsu, Dengai Ichigo, Why did you go? Front line, I have um, Irokoro V2 and Sazi, uh, book ending, uh, Fuhalagu, Basto Lord Ichigo. So that's where uh, that's where we're at in terms of uh, terms of the team. Uh, so still want to get Dan Gaichuk up one more. I just want to get him to six stars like the rest of that. But, you know, it's going to take a long time because it's like 200. What is it? What is it for the next promotion is 240. So I got no Omni Shards right now. They're all gone. So <laughs> and my next uh, go up is probably going to bring uh, Anniversary Chico up here uh, to four star. Uh, and then I'm going to start seeing about utilization uh, inside of Squad Boss and whatnot to see if I can actually clear uh, the 100 uh, million mark on that. I'm coming really close, usually getting to, uh, between 90 and 98 million is usually somewhere within within my fall. So I'm just a little bit short. Uh, I might be able to actually attain it uh, when I start trying it tomorrow, uh, now that I've brought Dan Guy up one, because he is in there too. Uh, there's also the possibility of maybe bringing Eisen into the mix. That's something I'll have to take a look at, because he is a single target nuker, which does make him uh, exceedingly useful uh, in terms of uh, possibility of getting some damage uh, from you know, any type you know single target nukers uh, are just much more uh, productive in terms of you know the damage that they do okay so he hits you know he's an attacker so he's red so he's going to be automatically bad he's a dragon also which makes means he's going to come out uh, of the gate raging uh, and you just get more single target damage gets you get more damage on a single target and the squad boss and character town are single targets it's just you know in the squad boss it's just it's just jillian and inside of character town it's just Azen. so this might be something that that do and he's already at four star um because he's you know he had to earn 150 shards of him which is what a reason it takes so long so this is probably something that i may look on in terms of actually doing something in turn uh, of bringing him up you know, getting his weapon and whatnot will, of course, um, require a little bit of uh, work in terms of that because I don't think I've ever actually seen an actual soul box event for him. Same as I've never seen a soul box event for Kempachi, uh, because he's the actual guild character. You're probably not going to be able to see a soul box, so getting this is going to have to be just uh, something that will result from a chest. Uh, in an event or something, which we do occasionally come across those chests, uh, but most of the chests are SSR. So we'll have to see maybe be you know maybe something about purchasing uh, that item uh, in the in the future. But it's something we look at. I may be able to get just since he's a single target, I may be able to just do enough damage to make a difference uh, without even having to apply the weapon immediately. So as you can see, we still got a few characters you are wise. Uh, this is uh, Christmas. Uh, yeah, this is Christmas Rakia. There's the little reindeer outfit. Uh, and this was uh, Summer Jan. This was the one that came out with Summer Matsumoto. Uh, same with this. This was uh, Christmas or Hime, which I do have, and Christmas Rakia. Uh, and then this one right here was Summer Matsumoto, which I have, and then Summer Jan, which is the one I didn't get. And this one right here is Anniversary Aizen. Uh, he, uh, the other character not was Anniversary Ichigo, which I do have. Uh, and then this one right here was, of course, the Halibel that just came out recently uh, for the travel season event, which which closed out. Um, I did manage to get some shards on that, but as you can see, really don't have any shards. These were not, uh, well, this doesn't count. Christmas, that was the first event, which I've got videos on that about how that was a mess up. Uh, but ever since then, they've been offering, uh, these are the two. They offered two characters in the anniversary event. Uh, Ichigo and Aizen. Um, one was easy to obtain by just doing dailies. Uh, I got him. Good character. You should have got him. Excellent character. Um, this was the other one. He was not available. You could get him, but you would probably end up needing to purchase money, much as the same you did on this one right here. Uh, this one came out with Summer Matsumoto, who was the free character uh, inside of doing the dailies. Uh, you, know, you had seven days worth of dailies. Within five, you could usually get enough uh, 
currency to actually get, and I did get her. Uh, Jin was the one that was not, so the same, you'd have to probably spend a little bit of money to actually get him. Uh, so that's what those characters are at, and the Christmas, or man, Christmas Yukia. So I probably, I you know, uh, the actual shop is stays, the shop is staying in here. If you look inside of your shop right now, you will see that the event shop is going to be open. So I, my assumption is that this is going to stay open. Uh, and as they have special events, you'll be able to get your hands on some of these time tokens. And then you'll be able to eventually start using these time tokens to purchase stuff. So I, I'm ex uh, extremely interested in getting the gloves here for him because that's her weapon. Uh, that's that you awaken. That's her awakening item. I don't want to say weapon. Uh, uh, that's her awakening item. Uh, the cane here is for Kia's Wiccan. So I'm really interested in getting in that. Uh, and I'm also interested in getting Ichigo's Umbrella because that is the actual awakening for him. So these items are now in here with these time tokens. Uh, so, you know, it's definitely something to look at. It takes 45. So in the last event, I got, I think, I, I guess I just got 12. Uh, so it's probably going to take three or four events. So it could be a year's terminology. Uh, they might have something a little bit better in terms of uh, these event tokens, uh, as well as something, of course, uh, the next seasonal event most likely will end up being uh, the Christmas um, event. So we may get something in there, of course. Uh, hopefully they'll switch around and enable us to get Rukia. Uh, I would like to get Rukia and Aizen just simply for the bond uh, in the archive, because if you know, uh, if you take a look at the um, archives for those, you will see Oh, I completed a collection. Oh, yeah, I got Aizen now, so 80 Soul Jade. Oh, eight more. Well, I've got eight army shards now. Activate Aizen inside of here as well. Takes my upgrade record. Okay, World of the Living. So this is going to be Dan Guy. Take him up. No bump there. But if you take a look at the archives, you will notice that, of course, they are both in there. So we've got, so right here, we've got Christmas, or Hime. Um, if I want to take her any farther, I need to have uh, her item, her other bond, which would be Christmas or Kia. And it's the same with uh, Ichigo. if I want to take Anniversary which goes uh, up, up a little bit higher, I will need to have uh, eyes in it. And of course, the same thing with Matsumoto. Uh, I can actually bring her up a little bit. Probably won't. I'm probably going to spend that on eyes. And, uh, but um, you're going to need to have uh, Jin. So they're you know, secondary characters. Uh, let's see what uh, Eisen completed. Where was he at? Pretty sure he was up top here somewhere, because I mean he was like introduced. He was like introduced at the beginning uh, of the actual game, so he's been in there for quite some time. Let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, where is he at? There he is. He's in keto expert, so that's not really interesting uh, from my name of the game, simply because of the fact that. I don't use any of those actual characters in my team, so nothing but that. But you do want to use his free because you can get a bunch of initiative uh, immediately. And I will be able to bring him up simply because of the fact that I have all three characters inside of there. So just might as well go ahead and use this here, get an extra 30 some initiative. So there we go, under the 32. So my initiative's getting up to 15-7. It's not as high as a lot of people. Some of them have it out there. All right, so uh, basically that's everything I just wanted to show you. Uh, the event is up, so remember to knock it out. Remember, you're going to have to purchase uh, the tokens. You get five free. You're going to need to purchase another five uh, for a little bit of Soul Jade. Or you can do this limit time summon and get some uh, within here. I had been saving up my Battle Arena tokens, though, simply because of the fact that uh, I know that they were going to be having this event pretty soon. They're pretty regular about the standard events. Uh, you know, you'll see character Town uh, and uh, then the other, they roll through the same same sort of events at a certain time, you know, the gotcha event, things like that. So I knew that we were going to be getting the Battle Arena event uh, fairly soon. So I went ahead and saved up my uh, arena tokens to actually utilize them inside of this event. Uh, they don't last for long. It's, it's really difficult to gain them. I'm back up to eight. I was at like three uh, when I finished. Uh, so, I've, you know, I've got it. So that'll cover me for tomorrow and some into the next day. Now, they're not too bad. I think it's like, uh, I think you can get like for, what's the price? So to get five more is going to cost you 360. 
solid jade. That's not a, that's, you know, it's not a whole lot. So, but you should do it because you get the tokens. All right. So, uh, again, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel, which is subscribed. You'll see the bell. Once you click on that bell, you'll be notified each time I do drop a video. Also, like and share the video as it does help the channel immensely. So, this is Ken Rick coming at you from the corner, signing out.